Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Hart DFS. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Hart. I make daily NBA prize pick videos as well as daily NBA slate breakdowns on DraftKings. Today we have another NBA slate to break down uh, for the showdown slate today. So if you're new to the channel, please do the like, subscribe, uh, turn on that notification bell. We'd greatly appreciate if we could get this video to 25 likes. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. Um, we're over 500 subscribers, well on our way to 1,000. So I do truly appreciate you guys. Uh, subscribing liking the video and just helping me out greatly greatly appreciate it uh make sure to follow me on twitter as well heart dfs uh we're getting you know followers there which is nice you know i'm putting up my core plates for dfs nba prize pick plays talking dfs with you guys just you know the classic dfs stuff so make sure to follow me there heart dfs uh changing any you know core plays if there's news stuff like that um let's get into the lineup from yesterday I ended up going with Steph at captain, Luca, Clay, Wiggins, Kaminga, and then I had like a thousand left over. I just threw in Trey Burke, which I knew he wouldn't get any run. Um, he ended up getting uh, seven points, which I didn't even know. Uh, but yeah, Kaminga, you know, 22 minutes, you know, he does great. 17 and 8 and 1. No, no. You know, why would you play him in the next game? You know, why? You know, he comes in. Leads you on this. Uh, you're down 29. He starts. He's doing well the whole game. You're down 29. He come basically leading your team to come back. Brings the points down to like 10 point, like a 10 point Mavericks lead. You know, shaves off like 18 points. We reward him next game with two two minutes. They'd rather go with Nemanha Belija. I can't even say his last name, but they went with Nemanha. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go with M M M Nemanha. We liked what he did last game over what Kaminga did. So super frustrating. Did nothing, you know, he, super hot, you know, super popular, 56 or 57, excuse me, almost 58% owned, um, super frustrating stuff there. But yeah, Steph, Luca, Clay, Wiggins, Kaminga, Burke talked about how I really, really liked uh, Clay as like a dark horse yesterday, was the leader in points uh, on both sides. I said, if you're going to play Luca, you should probably play Cleaver. Um, he ended up doing well. I think the winning lineup was... It's unfortunate to get a Steph uh, floor game as well. A guy who's been the most consistent the whole series uh, just shot the ball terribly. 5-17, and 2-7 from 3. Uh, he really didn't have to get involved just because they were blowing him out pretty much the whole game. So he didn't have to do much. Uh, he didn't really have to force anything. So he kind of just got, he had like 7 assists through the first quarter and a half. So he was just kind of chilling, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it was a pretty fire lineup for the first four. If Kaminga would have played, that would have been great. I think it would have easily cashed if Steph had a normal game and Kaminga, uh, you know, got like 10 to 15 fantasy points, even if Burke got zero. Still think I would have cashed easily. Winning lineup was Looney. You know, once again, Looney just goes off. Uh, Luca, Clay, Poole, Dinwiddie, and Cleaver. So, yeah, I mean, not much you can do. Called it that it was going to be a blowout, and it was. Uh, but... Nice to see that a 5-1 stack finally didn't win for the fourth day in a row. Uh, moving on to today's games. Uh, this is the... This is what I went with from um, the last game, from the last slate, for the Miami versus Celtics. Smart obviously had the floor game. A foul trouble. Jimmy didn't do well. Tatum did great. Lowry was horrendous. Rob Williams and then Caleb Martin. Uh, winning lineup was... Let's pull it up real fast. Tatum, Brown, Horford, Williams, White, and Tucker. So it was a 5-1 stack that won it last time just because of pretty much the blowout that happened in the third quarter. And now moving on to today's game. Pricing has pretty much stayed the same for pretty much everyone. Tatum went up 200 bucks. Jimmy came down 1000 You know, Brown came down 200 bucks. So the pricing has pretty much stayed the same. Um, we know this game probably will blow out just because of how bad each side has been doing every other game. Um, it's at Boston. I, I find it hard for Miami to win this spot. They're down, obviously, 3-2. They don't look good at all. Tyler Hero is still questionable. You know, a lot of guys are questionable right now, but Miami Heat just don't look like their they're normal selves. You know, that injury kind of, Jimmy kind of derailed everything. Even though they won that game, it kind of, you know, the next two games it just looked real bad for the, the Heat. Um, I just don't see how they're going to win today, but who knows? We'll see. But at the top, Tatum, love him, 11K. You know what you're getting from Tatum. 
would truly expect him to, you know, have a great game today. Uh, I like going back to Jimmy. You know, maybe he'll lose some ownership because of the past three games. But last game he played 40 minutes, shot 4 of 18. You know, he doesn't look 100% like his normal self. But playing the 40 minutes, that's what you really want, like to see. You know, he's at least back to normal when it comes to his minutes and shot attempts, even though he's not really hitting them. Um, did get you a couple steals. So, Jimmy, I think he looks great at 10-2. Jalen Brown, 9-8. Uh, you know, looks decent. As I said, you know, he's going to score the ball, but at times he can get a little dependent on the scoring and not do as much peripheral stat-wise. You know, 25 points, 36 fancy points for 10K is, you know, okay. Um, and, you know, I'd prefer just paying up for a guy like Butler Tatum, who have a lot higher for ceiling and safer floor as well. Horford looks good at 8,200, 8, as I said. He's, in the, he's a guy who's going to do everything. Um, if he scores, that's just kind of like a cherry on top. Uh, as you saw, you know, last game, or two games ago, five points, but 34 fancy points. Last game, 16 points, but 38 fancy points. So he's a guy that's pretty much going to do everything, you know, rebound, assists, blocks, steals. Scoring points is just cheering on top. So I don't mind getting to Horford. Um, you know, it would be a decent captain play for today. Bam looks okay. You know, 18, 10, and 1, 1. Um, you know, they're going to try to get him involved. Uh, you know, so he looks okay, 8K. I just don't know if he had to do it. You know, like Jimmy is obviously going to lead the team, but it's like who's going to step up for the Heat, be that secondary guy? Will it be Bam? Uh, you know, maybe. He did decent last game, even though they got blown out. But I don't know. It's hard to trust Bam, 8K. He'll probably be popular today, so I don't mind going there. But I'd rather get to a guy like Marcus Smart. 400 bucks cheaper. Only played 24 minutes. Had huge foul trouble. Uh, it just obviously was horrendous. Played nine minutes of that third quarter, and then didn't. I think he played only three minutes in the, the fourth. Like, he didn't play any fourth quarter run. So he lost out on pretty much, like, over a quarter of minutes this game. Uh, so I like going back to the well here with Marcus Smart. We know what we're going to get from him. Uh, he is questionable, but I'm assuming he will play. He does have the ankle injury, so maybe he's not 100%. But we've seen him go out there and ball out uh, coming off an injury, as we saw in uh, Game 2 against Miami when he went for 64 fantasy points. So obviously, I don't think you could expect that. But he's a guy who can put up some massive, massive points. So I really like him today, especially as captain. Um, so I'm going to throw him in there for right now. Who else have we got? Uh, Rob Williams. You know, looks like an okay play. 6,800. Prices come up a bit. Nice to see 27 minutes. Um, I think you can expect, you know, 22 to 28 from Rob Williams. The guy who's going to stuff the stat sheet gets a ton of blocks. Can't get too steal a tour as well. Uh, the rebounds there, it just comes down to the points if he's involved offensively. If he is... It's kind of like uh, kind of like Al Horford. It'll be like a cherry on top. Otherwise, he's kind of floating in between that 24 to maybe 34 fantasy point range, depending on how many points he scores. So, 6800 doesn't look bad for him. He's he's pretty safe. Um, just hope the minutes are kind of there and consistent for him. Lowry, I mean, what is that stat line? 25 minutes, 0 of 6, 0 of 5 from 3, one rebound, five fouls, three turnovers, negative fantasy points. Is that the worst stat line we've ever seen? I think it might be. For a starter who plays 25 minutes. Like, it was, the frustrating thing is, he had a lot of opportunities to shoot the ball and score when he was by the basket. Instead, he'd, like, dribble around, throw it out. Like, I don't understand the point of, like, not being aggressive and trying to hit layups, floaters, jump shots. I know floaters really aren't his thing, but drive to the rim. He had a few, I think it was four or five opportunities where he had the ability to he had no one around him, at least drive to the rim and get contact, but he just he circled the wagon, went back out, passed it out. So, I don't know, super frustrating. I think I'm going to play him today, 6,200. I think a lot of people are going to be scared um, just of his past few games, but he does have upside. And it's not one of those where it's just like he can have it one game and then it's gone for like the whole next month. Like he was able to put 37, 38, 42, 30. Um, you know, four games in a row against Boston, Chicago, Toronto, and Atlanta. So he does have upside, you know, 33, 41, 45. It just comes down to him being aggressive. Um, I think he's going to step up today, hopefully. He's a guy that can stuff the stat sheet. It's just he's been horrendous uh, this series. Uh, and even before that, I know he's been dealing with a hamstring injury, so maybe that's what's really holding him back. 
but I like buying low on guys, especially a guy who puts up negative fantasy points in 25 minutes. So I think I'm going to go with Kyle Lowry today. Obviously, super risky. If you guys want maximum pain, uh, then you can join me. If you don't want pain, then I say don't play Kyle Lowry. But he does have that ability to have a good, good game. So I like him today. Um, I mean, could he even be a sneaky, sneaky uh, captain? I, I don't see him being like the leading scorer. But he does have the upside when it comes to like rebounds and assists. So maybe uh, he goes for like a, a poor man's Draymond Green triple double where he goes at like 12 points, like 12 assists, and like maybe 10 rebounds. Um, we saw that in the earlier in the season. He can't get close to that. So don't mind doing that. Uh, what else we got? Tell Hero is questionable. He's doing everything he can possibly do. I'm just, even if he does play that injury, he's missed, what, two games? Um, might be a third game in a row. Even if he does play, I'm assuming he'd be limited. Um, you never know. He could re-injure that groin. So there's always that chance. If he does play, I say, you know, if you're going to play multiple lines, definitely throw Tyler Hero in one or two of them. But if you're playing one line, I'd probably fade him at 6K unless he doesn't have a minutes limit. Strews, uh, kind of having Strews games. Four points, three rebounds, three assists, two rebounds, 11 fancy points, 0 of 7 and 0 of 9 uh, on a horrendous shooting streak. You know, I don't mind buying back on Strews. Ownership will probably drop because of the past two games. Uh, he's a good shooter. Obviously, 0 of 16 in the past two games is horrendous, but I do expect him to hit a few shots today, hopefully. So, at, what is he? 5,800, don't mind that. Derek White is just super, super frustrating. You know, Marcus Smart's back. What happens? Marcus gets two quick ones in the first quarter. Derek White comes in, just super involved in the offense for no reason, just no reason at all. Gets a couple steals, gets a block, gets five assists. Just super, super annoying. But as I said, Derek White, even with Marcus Smart's back, is going to play, you know, 20 to maybe 30 minutes. And that's what we saw last game, and he, he worked out. Um, so you can definitely go there at 5,400. I just don't expect Marcus Smart to get in foul trouble at the beginning of the game and at the start of the third quarter, like he did last game. Uh, so I, I don't think I'd get there today. Victor Oladipo, um, they kind of ride the hot hand. You know, we, he did great the last game, um, even though it was a blowout. Uh, the game before that, when they won, he was great defensively. I don't know, he only had five points, but four steals was a huge, huge reason why they held on to the lead to win. But they didn't really reward him this past game. 15, 15 minutes, 1 of 7. As I said, if he's not hitting his shots, um, he kind of doesn't do as well defensively like he doesn't put as much effort and they they kind of pulled him uh they didn't ride with him but 5200 looks decent today you know hopefully they don't need to go to victor but if they do uh, I, I don't mind taking a dart throw on him today grant williams uh you know kind of come back down to normal grant williams uh this series 23 minutes five points six rebounds one of four from three uh, i don't mind taking a shot on him i mean he, he does have an upside um as we saw in the philadelphia or the milwaukee series but Minutes are kind of fluctuating, coming down. His shots are not really falling. As I said, the Heat can guard him a lot better than Milwaukee did. So he looks okay at 5K. Uh, P.J. Tucker looks good. You know, P.J. Tucker is going to produce if the minutes are there. Uh, 32, you know, puts up 26 fancy points. 38, 36 fancy points. Um, he's producing a lot better than he normally does to the re during the regular season. Uh, but it just comes down to if this game's a blowout or not. If it's a blowout, he's not going to get his normal minutes. He's not going to produce at all. If it's pretty close, he should be able to, you know, at least get you, I'd say, six points and six rebounds. So at 4,400, that's not bad. Uh, he does have some upside, as you can see, 36 fantasy points, 26. I'd expect, you know, more of that 20 to 28 fantasy point range if it's a close game. Uh, don't really expect more than that, but 4,400 looks, you know, good value today. Gabe Vincent looks okay. You know, 23 minutes. His minutes are getting extended because of the blowout. No, I, they did ride with him over Victor Oladipo throughout that last game. So maybe he's still in favor of the coaches over Oladipo. So I think you expect at least, you know, let's say 19 to 25 minutes from Gabe Vincent, depending on if it's a blowout or not. Uh, he can't come in to shoot. He had a few shots last game. So don't mind rolling with him, but he's kind of limited fancy point rise. Uh, we'll Pretty much just coming to shoot if they're not hitting their shots. Pritchard looks okay, you know. And I mean okay. He looks just like a bad play. Um, I don't really see how he gets in there unless someone gets in foul trouble or gets hurt. 
but yeah, he probably shouldn't see too many minutes, maybe 10 at most. Duncan uh, maybe sees 15 minutes in the spot, unless he's hitting all his threes. You know, he does have um, some upside, but if not, he's not going to really pay it off. I don't mind taking a shot on him today, 3K. Maybe if Strew struggles again today, maybe they'll go look to Robinson. Uh, they defended him pretty well. But maybe he gets open for a few threes, really opens up, opens up the game. So 3K, you can definitely take a dart throw. I think I'd rather go to Struce in this spot just because the minutes are more consistent. Uh, Deadman, 2,400. Not for me, not playing enough minutes, maybe 10 to 15 at most. Tice fell out of the rotation, you know, maybe eight minutes. Caleb Martin is a guy you can definitely take a dart throw on. Um, he's been producing very well in a short amount of minutes. I don't think this, this stays up. You know, he seven points, six rebounds. Uh, he shot a three and got his own rebound and hit a layup. So I, I just don't see how he produces unless he gets kind of lucky stats like that or if the game blows out. But I, I don't think it's a one or go home game. I think Miami is going to ride their starters until the last four minutes, even if it's a blowout. So I don't think you get to take a shot on these very you know cheap guys. I think it's just ride with the starters and just hope the game stays close and see what happens. So going off of that, I really like going back to Marcus Smart as my captain. I like taking a shot on Kyle Lowry today. Obviously, if you guys don't want to feel maximum pain, don't play Kyle Lowry, but I I want it. You know, happy Friday. I want that pain. So I'm going to play him. Um, do think you got to get to Tatum. I mean, it's just very hard not to get to Tatum uh, when he's the, pretty much the, the whole team, like the engine of the team. Uh, I think he'd throw Jimmy in there as well. Expect a bounce back spot from him. So this is kind of the route I'm going today, uh, what I really like. The good thing about this showdown slate is all these prices are pretty pretty good. So it's like there's a lot a lot of lineups you can build around. Uh, as you can see, you can fit in a good amount of studs in this lineup and still have a lot of uh, money left over to even get these you know lower tier guys. So as of right now, I think I'm gonna rock with Marcus Smart as my captain, Kyle Lowry, Tatum, and Butler. Uh, we'll have to wait on the news to see if anything else happens. But as of right now, this is what I like. So, thank you guys for tuning in. If we could get this video to 25 likes, that'd be huge. And please subscribe. Do appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Peace.